Healthy Happy People, this is Marisa Angle, the wellness speaker on giving you the tea on everything healthy, literally. Today's tea is about Chase Tree Berry Tea Vitex. Now try to say that five times fast. Okay, I talked about this tea on another video as it relates to shrinking fibroids. Today I'm going to talk about how I put it together to help me in alleviating the pain, the cruciating pain I was experiencing with fibroids. Now here's how crucial the pain was. I had a type of pain with my fibroids that allowed me, that caused me to scream for five to six hours. I mean just yelling because I was in so much pain like somebody was turning my stomach in knots. Not only was that going on, I was throwing up. I mean throwing up and going to the bathroom at the same time. And it would go on for hours. By the time it stopped, I was out. I was knocked out. And when I came to, when I was conscious again, then I realized, oh my gosh, it's over. And I'm now fatigued. Don't have the strength to do anything. So, as you already know, I prayed and I asked God, please help me. And I did some research. And I called a friend of mine, which I told you in another video. And I got the quantity of how many, how much that I needed to take per day. And so before I was just taking like a tablespoon at a cup of, with a cup of water. No, this is going to be four cups of water and you can add, about, you can add more. This time I added about, we're gonna do about five cups of water because so, the tea is so disgusting. It can make you feel nauseous. Um, it did for me. So I'm just giving you the disclaimer there. But I did five, five cups of water you could do four, five cups of water with one cup of tea. And this is what the cup of tea looks like. It's called Chase Tree Berry. And I'm going to use it. This is in bulk. I bought bulk. So I go to a store here in Georgia and there's a store I can go to and get bulk herbs. You can order it online and I'll leave a description, a link to the description box below on where you can get it. But you can Google this stuff and have it shipped to your house. And so that's the tea. I'm going to have the cup of water. You can use purified water, spring water, distilled water. Right now I have the still water. Okay. And I'm going to turn on the stove, put it at a high, allow it to come to a boil. And right now the water is flat, as you can see right now. And I'm gonna just wait for it to start getting some bubbles in. And when it gets the bo boiling and I see some bubbles in the water, I'm gonna place the tea, the um, herb in the, in the pot and let it come to a full boil. And we'll let it boil for a few minutes and then let it steep for about 40 minutes. And that's how we're gonna do that. And so there's two things that I'm using, two main things that I'm using to help shrink my fibroids and alleviate the pain. In addition to taking the tea, I talked about taking blackstrap molasses. And these are the two different bottles that I have used or am using. So this is one brand. Just in case you don't see one, you have you can see the other. Either two, they're both unsulfured blackstrap molasses. One is in a glass bottle and one is in a plastic bottle. And I try to lean more towards glass, doing more items in glass than less plastic, but both works. And these are the two companies that I will definitely encourage you to go with. I started off with this bottle, and when I moved um, to another state, I didn't, I couldn't find this one, so I ended up using Wholesome Brand for a while until I moved again, <laughs> and then I, um, I got this bottle again. So, so these are the two that I encourage you. Now, I mentioned taking the Blackstrap Molasses with lemon. Okay, so I have another video where I talk, to, talk about how to put this together. So just one lemon, you squeeze the juice, you cut it up. Do I have a knife here? Um, while we're waiting for the water to come to a boil. So I don't have a knife here. Go lucky. Um, go me. And so you cut, you cut the lemon and then you add it to, you squeeze the juice, you add it to your glass, and then you just pour the blackstrap molasses in. Um, I'm not measuring it. I'm just putting it in because... It has a lot of nutrients in here and I just pour it in like that. And then when I feel like it's enough, I drink it with the lemon. If it's a, if it's a good amount, I might drink enough for, for, one, um, for, one more, for the morning and then I take another for the afternoon and then another in the evening. And those two things are crucial. 
the chase tree, the chase tree berry is one. And the second crucial ingredient to alleviating the pain, whether you have fibroids or just regular PMS or any other pain related to your cycle, you need to take this and the chase tree. Now, if you are a woman and suffer from any hormonal imbalance that causes hot flashes, that causes um, ovarian cysts, um, cysts in the breast, um, fibroids, PMS issues, this tea is a tea that you need to take and blackstrap molasses should be in everybody's home. Google it, all the nutrients and benefits to it. But now the water's come to a boil, as you can see, and I got my herb, my herb right here, and I'm going to place it in the water, okay? That's one cup, and I'm going to get my wooden spoon. You can use a stainless steel spoon as well. I'm just trying to do less plastic. I still have plastic, trying to do less, because that um, also affects your hormones too, and Oh, all the other stuff. But so I'm just stirring a little bit. The water came to a slight bo um, boil, and I'm just going to allow it to sit here to become get into a full bubble. And while that's while that's going on, this is what I made. I made another batch. So while that's boiling, as you can see, it's boiling right now. You would strain the tea. So after it's done and you let it steep for about 40 minutes. You pour it in a strainer, and then you get the cup of the tea in your container here, and you place it in a mason jar, one bigger than this if you have, or this size, or any glass, and you also can place it and store it in a stainless steel cup as well if you have that. So you could take this to work because you're not going to be home all day. You could take this to work and have it on hand so that you don't forget to drink it. So I drink it like for breakfast, lunch, and um, supper. So that's how I take it. Before lunch, before breakfast, and before, um, before bed. Now, the other thing that I was asked about in the video, um, in the video that I made, one of the questions that was asked, can you take the liquid if you don't have the bulk? This is one of the liquids that I bought. This bottle with Chase Tree Berry is what I used. And I normally do the bulk. I got lazy, didn't have the bulk with me, so I ran to the store to get this so that I don't miss a beat. And so you can also use the liquid. I would say, it says two, so two to three times a day. And I would, um, you would use it every day for two months. See how that's doing with you. If you see any results, um, you know, continue. If you don't see any results, continue. Um, but I would say this is more expensive than doing the bulk because as you can see, this bottle is small. I'm sure there's bigger bottles, but you, um, it's going to finish quicker than the, the bulk. So that's what I think about that. But you can use the liquid form as well. I prefer the bulk, but you can use the liquid. And so that's basically the main things that I'm doing. There are other things I'm going to share with you in another video, but that's mainly the two main things that have given me the results that I've been getting. For four months, I have been taking this tea, and each month, I've, got, I've gotten better and better. The first month, no pain, but a little nausea. Second month, um, no pain and even less nausea. Third month, no pain, no nausea. I forgot the second month, I still have fatigue. By the third month, no fatigue, no nausea, no pain. But you have to be consistent. You have to be consistent. You know, try to be consistent, aim to be consistent every day, three times a day, and you will see the results. Please share with me if you're getting any results or not. But remember, the last thing I would say with this, in addition to taking the teeth, and the black strap molasses. Health is holistic. It's holistic. So aim to make sure you walk, you know, at least five to, um, five to, um, five days a week minimum. Just walk. Uh, make sure you're getting fresh air. Make sure you're drinking eight to ten glasses of water. 
Make sure you're getting some sunlight for your natural vitamin D. Make sure you have time with God and praying and, you know, and utilizing faith and studying his word. Um, watch the stress. Stress, any emotions, unforgiveness, resentment, all that will make your cycle um, even worse. It can actually create, keep the pain and makes, and make, it, it can cause you not to see the results. So watch the mental state, the emotional state. And I want to make sure I'm not missing any. We got fresh air. Oh, and a healthy diet. Make sure you're eating more whole foods more than you're eating processed foods. And I'll talk more about that in another video. This is Marisa Angley, the wellness speaker, on giving you the tea. Pay attention to the description, but description box. I'll put some descriptions on some of the things I talked about and links as well. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay in the family. Bye-bye.